an avalanche. Okay, so I've got an avalanche of goodies. I am, I went shopping again. I'm hopping into April with some really good goodies. So if you're ready to see how I hopped into April with some more goodies right after March Madness, stay tuned. All right, so let's get started unboxing all of these goodies so I can start using them. I've been trying to behave myself and wait until I film this and then I didn't. I didn't wait. I've started to use some of these products ahead of time. So I'm going to jump into these and show you so that then I can put them in my to be used pile if I haven't already started using them. But anyways, I want to show you what I got. So Makeup Geek had a sell and I picked up a multitude of their brushes. I love, love, love their brushes. So I can't wait to unpack these bad boys and start using them. Makeup Geek brushes last forever. I'm slowly replacing some of the ones that I bought when I first started my channel. I, I did go very inexpensive in some ways and it's not that the inexpensive ones are bad. It's just when you finally find that right product you want to jump in. I've been purchasing the Morphe brushes on a subscription for a while and I think I'm actually going to go ahead and close down that subscription because they keep sending way too many big brushes and I'm just over the big brushes. So I decided once Makeup Geek went ahead and did a massive sale that I would go ahead and pick a bunch of my favorite brushes from them and go ahead, like I said, and close down that Morphe subscription because I just want the brushes that I want. I don't necessarily want a bunch of big brushes okay. anymore. So after March's BoxyCharm box, I fell in love with a new mascara, and it is the Double Decker by Butter London. So I'm part of a Facebook group with BoxyCharm Beauties, and so sometimes the BoxyCharm ladies will sell their additional products at a cut price than what you would pay in a store for one. So for instance, these usually go for $20 and I got these each for 10. I love this mascara so much. I'm obviously stocking up because this Butter London Double Decca Eyes makes you look amazing. So again, I went ahead and since I could get these for $10 a piece, I am stocking up because I'm in lust. Yes, lust with that okay. mascara. One of the things that I'm kind of mixed about is the blood sugar palette from Jeffree Star. So this went out, you could order these right before Valentine's Day. And I was all super pumped, hyped about this before Valentine's Day. Today is actually Easter. It is April 1st. And this isn't an April Fool's joke. Literally, I just got this two days ago. So I really, really, you know, wanted it more for Valentine's Day. And so it, it kind of lost its appeal to me since it took so long. But I will say this box is absolutely beautiful. I mean, I am kind of pumped back up about this now that I got it. But waiting, I don't do very well waiting. I'll just be honest. I love these little snaps. That is absolutely awesome. And then you open it up to this gorgeous bit. So it's got the Jeffree Star logo, a nice mirror. And these pan sizes are smaller than the regular pan sizes of his last two or three pan, um, eyeshadow palettes he put out. But frankly, I'm okay with that. I get more colors. These are smaller, but they're still a really good pan size. Um, I think Jeffrey's previous palettes were like off the hook statements. They, they gave you those massive pans. And I think that that was great and ingenious at the time. However, I do like these smaller pan sizes so I can have more colors. That's just how I roll. I wanna play with a bunch of different colors. I love these colors. So there is some pinks. It's got some purples. I love me some purples. And it's got some neutrals, which is fantastic. And this red has caught my eye. I cannot wait to do something fun with this. So is I love the color schemes. You could probably use this palette for a full month and seriously never get the same eye look. 
and that just absolutely intrigues me. So I am now getting more super pumped about this, even though I had to wait way too long, according to me, to get this. But I love the packaging. It is absolutely fantastic. And he does have his little YouTube bit on the back. How cute is that? So I am hoping to start play, start to play with that palette okay. very soon. So I'm also going to do a video most likely today on using these magnetic lashes from Ardell. I have really enjoyed getting a chance to use these recently. I have two different ones that I have purchased and I'm digging them. So I went back and bought um, four more and I'm going to show you guys how to use these, which one is my favorite and why, how you can pop these on. and. I really like that they're lightweight. I love the fact that it doesn't have glue because my eyes have gotten um, allergic to glue and I can only do false lashes every so often. Otherwise, it's, yeah, it's a hot mess. My eyes start flaring up. My, yeah, it's just not good. Not good. So I am jumping all over the place. Kat Von D was doing a massive sale and so I picked up the Ever Everlasting Obsession Lip Liner Edition collection. So basically, I want to say it was about half off or maybe even more. I love her packaging, which is absolutely stunning. She always does a fantastic job. It looks like an envelope. Again, stunning. And then we will, we kind of open up the envelope and then you have a ton of her lip liners on the back side maybe it's the front side you have a lit of a list of the names of each of the lip liners so i was really excited to pick these up since they were had been marked down so low i think basically each of these lip liners will be less than ten dollars a piece which is fantastic but i do like the presentation is that not amazing i can take this with me when i travel and have every color lip liner that could be imagined. Absolutely. So love I was that. thinking with summer coming up that it might be time to try the baby foot. My sister in law did a video on this with her daughter. Hey, Sabrina the makeup mom and Carmen. Love you guys. Uh, so they did this about a year ago. Kind of freaked me out. I don't really like feet. Freaks me feet freak freaks me out. Absolutely freaks me out. I I when I was single, I quit dating people. The moment I saw their feet. I can't, I can't do feet. So anyways, um, I wanted to go ahead and pick this up. I've been thinking about it for about a year ever since Sabrina did her video and I've gotten brave and I got one for me, one for Rob. Mm-hmm. We're gonna make his peds look good too. I'm still kind of nervous about it, but I'll get there. I'll get there. So as I'm Dipping back into this box, I find, oh yes, we have more, mm-hmm, more Makeup Geek brushes. They were on sale, y'all. I got them for a great price. Next in here, I picked up the LA Girl Pro Matte. I haven't used this yet. I've been watching some YouTubers that have enjoyed this and actually have one of my favorite YouTubers has this in her bag every single day. So I thought, you know what? I haven't tried it. Let's try it because maybe my subscribers haven't tried it. And maybe if it's as good as some people say, y'all need to know about it. So I'm ready to bite the bullet just for you. Okay, then I did pick up Ulta Sale. Had buy four minis, get one free. And so I had to get all up in that. I wanted to pick up a brow pencil, either one that I can throw in my bag that I carry with me every single day or when I travel because I'm getting ready to go see my grandmother again and check on her health. But I wanted to be able to bring smaller stuff with me, still have the ability to do my makeup, skincare, etc., but be able to, you know, not take up a lot of space. I actually, when I travel, would rather put my stuff in an overhead roller bag. I've even gone to Sweden for like nine days with carry-on. So, Anyways, I just prefer to do the carry-ons and that way I don't have to worry about anyone getting into my luggage, anyone touching my luggage, or God forbid, the airplanes to lose my luggage. I went ahead and picked up the MAC Prep and Prime. I thought that was fantastic. So cute. 
and again, able to travel. I did pick up the Urban Decay Long Lasting Makeup Spray. Again, this is fantastic for travel. And then, because I do love the Stila Eye Shadows or the Glimmer Eyes, this is in kind of a lavender-esque look, and so I wanted to try to play with that. Plus, it's little, so once again, I can travel with it. One of the things that I went back to purchase, and you may have seen these in my empties, is this hydrating facial mask. So they they come in packages of two or four. I took these with me when I went to see my girlfriend in Winston-Salem, Kristen. So Kristen and I, hey Kristen, had a great kind of girls weekend and I had her trying some products with me and this was one of the products we tried. And I loved it so much that I had to go back in and purchase these from Ulta. I really, really love this hydrating facial mask. It is amazing. So you know when I go back and repurchase how well that that my, that product might be. I so then I went it. in and purchased the Man Eater 2 palette. I really enjoyed Tarte's Man, the first Man Eater palette. So I was looking forward to the Man Eater 2 palette, looking forward to trying a look or several looks with that. Also from Ulta, I picked up the Mario, and I'm gonna butcher his last name. I'm sorry, Mario, I'm not good at names. Badescu. This is a facial spray. It is with aloe, chamomile, and lavender. I am a lavender fiend, and so I just love me some lavender. It's soothing to me. It's comfortable. It is amazing, and so we're going to try this one together. It does smell very pretty. I think I can pick up the chamomile very well, um, but the lavender definitely leaves a lasting smell, so that is really then nice. Then we have, of course, the camouflage. This, I, I feel, is a great dupe for the sh tart Shape Tape, Sharp Tape Shape, whatever you call it. Um, it's very inexpensive. I want to say it's six or seven dollars. It is also waterproof. So I really like putting this underneath my eyes, brightening, and I ran out of this. So I am back in. I'm back in. I went on Shop Hush because I, you know, I really like the dupes they have out there. I picked up the Vice palette, which is reminiscent of Miami Vice, but it is a great dupe for Kylie's purple palette. And I've already dug into this and used it and came up with a great purple eye. So that video, if it hasn't already come out, it will come out. Loved it. Then they gave me a water resistant eyeliner for me to try. Cause if you spend, I think it's $35 or $30, you get to, spin a wheel and see what kind of free prize they give you. So I got those. I did pick up some eyelashes. Those do need glue. So when my eyes are ready to be able to use false eyelashes with a glue, I do have these two. Very excited about that. And then I picked up these other palettes. This one is by Face Candy. It's called Sahara. Just some really pretty colors there, and I'll find out which one this one is supposed to be a dupe of when I get ready to do. I also I picked look. up from Face Can Candy Amazonia, so this is a nice little palette here. I'm really intrigued by this orange, bright orange color, and again, I'll find out which one and this is. And then I picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam, and you can see I've already got a wicked hot mess on top of it. It's got that fuzzy really kind of velvety feel on the outside but as you can see it does have the typical fallout but these colors mm, mm. literally i was not going to use this palette until after i filmed this video and then i decided no i want to i just want to play with it just a little bit before i film the video just just maybe once no this has been my go-to palette for about a week now, so I really have loved this palette. I just hate how dirty I've already made it. That's kind of a bummer. It does have a lot of fallout, so you gotta be careful, but Anastasia Beverly Hills, you're kinda used to that by now. But the colors are smoking hot. Like, 
Oh, so I have done maybe two videos on this. I was thinking about doing a third just because I love this palette. Anyway, that so much. that's my little hopping into April on Easter with my recent little purchases. So I hope you like this haul. If there's anything you want me to try before one of the other products or you have any questions about the different products, give me a holla. Holla at me or put any of your thoughts or questions below. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice. So make it a great one. Until next time.